Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be cooking another Polish recipe. Pierogi Lenive. Lazy pierogies. Now this dish is more popular in Poland than it is here in the United States. Nevertheless, I'd like to introduce you to it. And if you like potato cheese pierogies, you are going to love this dish. So let's get going. For the ingredients, you will need three cups of mashed potatoes. You want to use russet potatoes. You're going to boil them in salted water. Now make sure you don't overboil them. Then you're going to mash them. Then you're going to need two and a quarter cups of farmer's cheese. So here's the brand that I use. Then you will need a cup and a quarter of all-purpose sandwich flour two egg yolks, two teaspoons of salt, and freshly ground pepper. Now, for the topping, we are going to saute in either butter or oil, or a combination, a medium-sized chopped up onion, and diced bacon. And what I have here is about half a cup of bacon. In this large bowl, I have combined all the ingredients and now I'm going to turn the mixer on and let all the ingredients mix till they are well blended. So this is what the dough should look like. Before we start rolling the dough, we're going to wash our hands, which I already have done. Because to roll your dough, the best way to do it is with your hands. So now you're going to take about one quarter of the dough and place it on the floured surface and you're going to cover the dough with the flour and just work it a little just like that and then you're going to cut that part in half set this aside and work with this part now the objective is going to be to get this piece of dough about an inch and wide. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing it, as then I'm pressing, I'm also stretching it and then I'm flattening it down and using my fingers to stretch the dough. Now this helps if you don't have long fingernails. Okay, there. And flatten it down. And let's do this one more time. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. But around one inch. And now this is a little thick, so I'm going to stretch it a little. And this part is a little thick. I'm going to stretch it a little. Okay, that looks great. Then you're going to use a sharp knife and you're going to cut about inch pieces, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and continue till I'm done with all the dough. And let me show you another way to roll the dough. And that is for all of you that have nails and as you could tell I don't. You go and go ahead and get a nice log going and then from the center you just go roll it out like that. Keep rolling till you get the roll to be about an inch in diameter. There. Now these taste delicious, especially after we top it with our onions and bacon. There. So just keep rolling. There we go. Now that looks nice. 
and then you're going to just flatten it like this. Okay, now I still like to get a little, little bit more thinner. So I'm just going to stretch it out a little there. There we go. Okay, and now using your knife, you just go and cut away. And now we are ready to boil them. So here are the lazy pierogies ready to be boiled. So here we have a large pot filled with water, salted water. We're going to drop the lazy pierogies in. They're going to boil. And once they rise to the surface, we're going to remove them. Now it's not going to take long. So here they come. We're going to put them in a strainer to drain. and repeat till all of the pierogies are boiled. And for the topping, we're going to saute the onions and the bacon. You want to have the onions lightly brown and bacon nice and crisp. So here are the pierogies ready to be topped. Mm. Well, I hope you found this recipe for lazy pierogies easy. And I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you for tuning in.